Did you grow up believing that drawing is this exclusive, mysterious skill? I sure did. Well, the truth is, drawing is a skill like any other. You can learn it. Today, I'll show you a way to understand the process of learning to draw in a way that you can relate and you can really see that it's possible for you to learn how to draw really, really well. If it's your dream to be an artist, like a professional artist who gets paid for their art, it's possible. If you've always wanted to learn to draw and be more creative, that's totally possible too. Whatever your aspiration, today I'm going to show you a way to understand the process of learning how to draw so that you really see and believe how and why it is possible for you. I'm Tatiana Dennis. I'm here to teach you how to draw using the cute and simple style of kawaii. So if you ever wanted to get better at drawing, and maybe even start a creative business using your newfound skill, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of all the new videos I create. So let's start. The thing is, learning to draw is like learning a language. Like think of a baby that just was born and is learning the basic sounds and the basic letters. So when we talk about the basic drawing shapes, like circles and ovals and cubes and pyramids and cylinders, you know, even just a dot and a line. These are all our basic uh, letters of drawing. These are all the basic sounds of drawing. When you're learning a new language, you first need to learn the alphabet, the letters of that language. So that's what it is for drawing. Now, when you start to combine this individual shapes into actual objects. Like let's say you draw a cup. Now that's like learning a word. You just learned a word in your drawing vocabulary for cup. Now let's say you take the cup and you put it on a table and you put a spoon next to it and flowers and a piece of sugar. Now you've created a composition. This is the same way that we learn to form sentences as children. Now, of course, we all want to write poetry, right? When we create art, we want to create something beautiful and amazing. So this is the same as learning to combine the sentences into poetry, into stories, into things that we want to communicate out into the world. Hey, Shakespeare didn't come out of the womb writing Hamlet, right? Shakespeare had to learn the basic sounds and the words and the vocabulary and the English language just like everyone else. He just took it further. He learned how to create poetry. He learned through a lot of experimentation and through tuning into his own feelings how to combine the sentences into poetry. And you can do the same with art. If you feel in your heart the desire to create, the desire to communicate, then you can totally learn the language of art. Does this idea of learning to draw being similar to learning a language make sense to you? Let me know in the comments why or why not. So allow yourself to be a beginner at drawing. You've never done it before consistently. You know, how can you expect yourself to just be good at it? No one is born an artist. No one is born good at drawing. Those people who seem to be naturally good at drawing, they just happen to have a childhood circumstances, something in their life that enabled them to practice early on. I came to drawing when I was 29 years old and I started hard and I learned to draw. And now I know it's possible for me, it's possible for you, it's possible for anyone who feels the creative calling. And be kind to yourself. Honor where you are right now in your drawing journey. Take it step by step by step. As long as you keep showing up to your drawing practice, you are guaranteed to get better at it and eventually get really good to a point where you can do professional illustration or whatever your creative dreams are. And surround yourself with a supportive community, with people who believe in you, who elevate you. I believe in you, and I will continue to tell you this until you believe in yourself. We have a beautiful community on Facebook. We are roughly at 5,000 members now, something like that. I don't exactly remember. 
But join our Facebook group. You will get lots of ideas and inspiration there. You will get feedback. You will get drawing instruction. It's completely free. The link is in the description below and continue to create. I am so excited to see your drawings. I am so excited to see your creative process unfold and to experience the poetry that you will create. I believe in you and I will see you in the next video.